Tri-City will see if they can get back to it up high. It's out to neutralize, collected by Tanner Latch. Up the left wing, and onside for Mitchell Wolf. Now to the bottom of the circle, the fire and on goal, and a good save made by Scott. It's his first of the evening. And they'll swing it up the right wing to Victor Trenetsky there. Then it's played off the backhand from Ernest. He chipped onside, and Tri-City will attempt to find the puck behind the cage, but instead, they'll go with a line change at center. So it's Des Moines pulling the puck free. Taken away, though, by Klapka. Here he is onside. Fire score! Adam Klapka picked up the puck along the left wing. He stepped onside high in the zone, made his move, and ripped on by Derek Malahi. It's the opening goal of the game. A red line at center, then collects a line change here behind the play for Tri-City. O'Hara, he'll look to create a turnover as he bumps into his number two counterpart, John Driscoll. Up to Hutchison, fires through a screen, and a good save made by Malahi. A secondary assist following a face-off on an empty netter, so he collected his first career NHL point in his NHL debut. Shane Pinto for the Ottawa Senators, and Wade Allison for the Philadelphia Flyers off a of steal. Nice fire, scores! What a goal! It's 2-0! City score goal! Matt Nyes has his 14th goal of the season. And Taken though by Ludke. Played onside. Now it's Hutchison. Hutchison, stretch pass. And in behind the defense is shown. He's got a half a step. Shoots. Big save made. But a rebound was right there in the crease. And gathered up. A no-look pass from O'Hara. But it didn't find anyone. And eventually Caden Villegas played the puck. But it's almost turned over right in front of Scott. Now collected, Chupani up high, Prokop through a screen, covered up by Scott. Nice work by him. Nick Donato looking to clear Alex LaFerrier out of the crease and into the corner. They'll continue on. Erdahl for the Buccaneers goes across the ice, moved out of the zone by John Prokop. Tri-City with it again, though. Here's Ben Schoen, good pass to Klapka. Here he is. Wait, fires, save made. Rebound still loose and covered up by Malahi. Now Nye's going down in the corner. Stands back up, still with the puck. Look at this. He'll look to center. He does. They fire. What a save made by Malahi. He got it on the toe and denied Mason Wheeler. And now an opportunity on the power play to cut the lead in half. Too many men on the ice. Carpa holds on to it along the side of the circle. In the offensive end, Tri-City steals, though. Here we go. Short-handed. Strand on side. Up high in the zone. Denies. Waits. Fire. Score! Short-handed goal. Matt Nyes. Well, Tri-City got numbers going in the right direction out of the defensive end. Here come the Buccaneers, though. 35 seconds left in the power play. They're back on side looking to get something set up on the offensive end. Up high from Josh Ludke in front of the net and covered up. Scott let a second chance free, and I think that he got the benefit of the whistle there. Oh, it's nice to see Renlin playing along here. From the faceoff, Tri-City has it. Five on three, they go to work. It's Cole McWard, top of the circle. He waits, and he sends a pass to Connor Hutchison. Now it's in the near side corner. Matthew Nyes going for the hat trick. Here's McWard, waits, looks to center, keeps it himself. Now it's Nyes, dances out to Strand, shoots, scores! <laughs> It's four to nothing. Hunter Strand finds the back of the net. It's his 20th goal of the season. Hunter Strand. Tri-City still on the power play. It's five on four. If you're watching on hockey TV, they still have the penalty to Renlin running. Here's a steal from Erdahl. Short hit to break. Fires. What a save made by Todd Scott. Although at that point, Tri-City would have already clinched the number one seed in the West, meaning that tomorrow's game uh, would decide the season series winner. So still something to play for tomorrow. Here's Schoen on side, high in the zone, shoots through traffic. Good save made by Koppel. And that would also be quite the achievement from this group. Tri-City, they'll throw it on side. Now it's in behind Koppel to the far side of the building, played by Mitchell Wolf. In front, turnover, Klepka, point blank range, and a save made by Koppel. They'll throw it up top, looking for a play. Instead, they go back to Renland. 
Viegas runs the back of him. Now here's Scout Truman behind the net. Sam Renlin, he'll look for an option. Holds on to it, he finds someone. It's Wolf, shoot, save made by Scott. 6.25 left in the second period. Tri-City ahead by four goals. Puck is down, another broken twig now. And Tri-City, across it goes. Mercury down, low give and go, they score. Chupani makes it four to one. 6-12 left to play in the second period, and a goal in the back of the net for Matt Chupani. Northeastern commit, it's his 18th goal of the season, Montreal native. And he has broken the shutout of Todd Scott. Six minutes and 12 seconds left to go in the second period. Big hit behind the cage from LaFerrier. Ludke got it out to Mercury, and... Slid it right across to Chupani. Des Moines onside, looking to center. They do, just right through the crease. And Ben Schoen has it. Could be a three on two. Schoen enters the zone onside. Waits, pulls it back. Fire save made by Cobble on the top of the crease. And Des Moines will clear to center ice. He's replaced by Klapka. Tri-City, meanwhile, looking for it in the offensive end with Leighton Road. Road in behind the line now. Taken here by Michael Bevilacqua. Gave it up, though. Here's Klapka. Fire, save made by Koppel. Road in on goal, and another good save made. Klapka's behind the cage, taken away from him. And out of the box is Burnside behind everyone, calling for it. Burnside in, fire, save made by Todd Scott. Two on one for Des Moines. Getting back, that was Johnson, is just losing the handle on it with Zachary Karpa. Now Tri-City with numbers, possibly two on two. Strand, Brindley, they'll find nice fires kicked out by Remington Koppel. And inside the line of face-off, and what a uh, face-off win, and a great slap shot, but a save made by Scott. Now it's free, they look to fire, and then Scott, it's over the line. And Killian Kieker Olsen has scored, and that's going to make this game a little bit more interesting. 4-2 to two with 12.39 left to go. Well, Tri-City almost had that one with Todd Scott doing the splits in the crease, but it was a face-off win from Des Moines and then a quick shot that peppered Todd Scott, and they'll go down beneath the goal line. They'll find Adam Klapka. Here's Klapka on the power play. In behind the net, 7.05 left to go in the third period. Out to center, they'll find LaFerrier streaking. He's onside, fire scores! It's a shorthanded goal, it's 4-3. to three. Alex LaFerrier has his third of the weekend with a highlight real goal. Hilltop Mall has the instant replay and Des Moines being aggressive and they have to be. They're trailing in this game and now only down by one. Sabrian couldn't get to it, they go up high. It's Chupani, he's open. Give and go down low. They'll center in front, bouncing around. Good stick handling from Johnson. He fires into the corner. 144 left to go now. Tri-City is up by one. 43 seconds left on the kill. Here comes the netminder. Two penny in front. They score. Des Moines puts it in. Sam Renland. We're tied. Ninety-six seconds left to go, and the Buccaneers have made it four to four. Last night, Des Moines scored three consecutive in the second period to take a three-one lead. Dry City got it back at center. It's now Nyes with Borghese and Brindley. Here comes Tri-City, 4-4, the score in overtime. Borghese denies, back to Borghese in front, fire save made by Koppel, he covers it up, and no further play. The hustle gets it done. Schoen uses the net as a pick, here he comes, two on one, Schoen and Cole McWard, Schoen waits, shoots, oh and he goes off the post in the goal crease. And from center. Here's Nyes, cuts in front of the net, looks to fire, and he looked like he took a stick up high. Nothing cold, though. He's laying on the ice and not moving. Tri-City has Cole McWard go back to play, and he gives it up, though. Look out, Des Moines to fire in. Oh, and a save made by Scott. 
Can you believe that? LaFerrier goes down. This is bad news. Three on one. They look to fire. They score. Chupani gets it done. It's an overtime win for Chupani. Celebrates at center ice. And Des Moines wins it 5-4 to four in overtime. Hilltop Mall instant replay as LaFerrier got it to Chupani. Who is the hero? One thirty-seven was left to play in the overtime. Chupani celebrating at center ice.